Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can scrape Google My Business leads, also known as Google Maps, right, very easily. Now, I'm gonna be showing you guys two methods. Uh, one of the methods is gonna be completely free and it's gonna be super easy to do. Uh, the other method is gonna be even easier, but it does cost a little bit of money. So whatever, wherever you are with your financial situation, you can do either one of these methods. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, on here, you can see I have a search query, just a very simple one, just HVAC near Oldbridge, right? So whenever you do any sort of Google My Business scraping, you always want to go by like the city in the state you're trying to scrape in, right? So like I would never do just HVAC like in New Jersey, just because you're going to get a lot less results like on your actual Google My Business page. What I like to do is I like to do HVAC near, for example, Edison, New Jersey, which is a specific part in New Jersey. And then I'll get the results just in Edison. And then I'll go to the next page and that's where I'll get all of the other results, right? Now, the difference between doing it this way and then just doing HVAC in New Jersey is literally the difference between getting like 500 results or like 5,000 results, right? Google will not display every company in New Jersey if you just ask it to display every company in New Jersey. That's just not how it works. So you kind of have to do it this way. Now, the way of doing it for free is going to be using a Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, this is a completely free Chrome extension. There's no premium plan. There's no nothing. It's just something that you can get on the Chrome App Store, right? And basically what it does is it detects the table in the HTML layout and it's able to export all of this information, right? Now you can see right here, these are all the listings, like 1800 heaters, which is heating and cooling and air. And you can see right here, you have the locations, some of their phone numbers, and here are their websites. Now at this point, this is what you would use in order to actually enrich the data, right? And in essence, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down, you wanna click locate next button, click that and click on next, and then come back to this page. I like to put something like a three to five delay click start crawling and what it'll basically do is every time it's done or I think I might have clicked the wrong button yeah it's like this that's what you have to do and then come back here click start calling and it should start going to the next page automatically table has not changed here let me refresh my screen because sometimes instant data scraper will like bug out a little bit that's kind of why it's the inconvenient way of doing this but just for the sake of the example, I'll show you guys anyways. Here, two to five, and start scrolling. Boom, you see, we just went to the next one, scraped it, went to the next one, scraped it, and went to the next one, and that's kind of how it works, right? Now I'm gonna download the CSV real quick just to show you guys an example of how that looks, and I'm gonna open it up in Google Sheets uh, here. Let's open it up. here I think I can just drag it in from here yeah just give it a second to load in and boom you can see right here you know you can have all the locations like Edison Metuchen Edison Edison East Brunswick all the different locations all of the company names uh, all of the company websites right everything that you need right here now the problem of doing it this way is Edison is actually the most highest populous part of New Jersey and New Jersey is a pretty big state in terms of population and it only has 92 results here meaning that if you want to do this accurately and actually like you know scrape a bunch of results you're gonna to have to go to Edison then you're gonna to have to move on to like for example Newark then you're gonna to have to go on and move on to like Matawan then you are gonna to have to move on to Old Bridge and you're gonna to have to literally sit there and just sit like for hours basically just manually scraping one by one by one by one right that's the free approach of doing it now, the paid approach of doing it is actually using a scraper, which is in Lead Academy. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, Lead Academy is my coaching program. Basically, in essence, you know, it's $99 a month. You get a seven-day money-back guarantee if you don't like it, and you get access to a ton of scrapers, one of those scrapers being the Google My Business Scraper, as well as an agency visa scraper, store lead scraper, bit scraper, clutch scraper, good firm scraper, Gelatka scraper, a yellow pages scraper, which is another great alternative to Google My Business, depending on what you're targeting, and doing that is super simple, right? So basically how that works is we give you this file. This file will be like in the description, so even if you guys don't want to join Lead Academy, I'll still give you this file. In this file, you basically have every city and every state in the entire country, right? Or in the US, I'm in. And you can basically just go to like Florida, for example. And you have all the Florida ones, you have all the California ones here. So we can actually quickly go find the New Jersey one right here. And we can actually just go scrape like the top five, right? Really quickly, I'll make like a new file. I'll put this in and I'll just export this just so I can show you guys an example, right? Now, once that's exported, let me just open up downloads. 
and I'll show you guys how you can do this automatically. So you don't have to do a thing. It'll just do it completely for you. Let me just open up Discord. The community is actually hosted on Discord, so you'll just do it through here. And you can just do export GMB search term. So we'll do HVAC again. Or actually, I like to do heating. I, I find heating gives you more results. We'll put in heating, and then I'll just drag that sheet in. I'll click enter. And what's going to happen now is it's going to go and it's going to on demand scrape all of the content for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video right here. And then as soon as we're done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, guys, we're back. You can see right here. It's currently 317 p.m. And we requested this at 314. Um, you can see right here. This is the result that came. It ended up scraping 816 companies. You can just click download from drive. This is going to open up a Google sheet and it's going to have all of the relevant information here for you to take a look at. So all of the company names, all of their phone numbers, if you guys want a cold call for any reason, all of the websites, all of the addresses, their review average, and how many reviews they have. So for those of you who potentially sell something like web design, you can even say something like, hey, I saw your Google My Business listing. I saw you guys only had like six reviews with an average of 4.2 stars, right? So these are variables that you guys could potentially use. That's why we include them. And then obviously for those of you guys who are cold calling, you have those numbers available. But in essence, very simple stuff. We were able to find in those, in just those five cities in New Jersey, 817 unique leads. And in essence, that's how the data scraper works, right? By joining Lead Academy, you guys get it for completely unlimited. It doesn't cost anything to use aside from the subscription. And um, that's about it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I really hope this was helpful. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. We are still a relative small channel, so everything, everything makes a difference. Um, and yeah, I'll have the Lead Academy link in the description. Um, if you guys are interested, check it out. Again, seven-day money-back guarantee if you don't like it. So with that being said, until next time.